Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will show you how I achieve my fresh and natural makeup look that is perfect for taking pictures under the sun and if you so mag fresh fresh and lang. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. to sanitize your hands, kids. Hi, even if I don't have the biggest platform here on YouTube, before we get started, I just want to remind all of you guys about the issues happening around the world and that even if you're not directly affected by any of them, it is your responsibility as a human and as a citizen to do something when you see something wrong. So please, please take a stand. Don't stay quiet. I'll put links down below on where you can educate yourself, petitions you can sign, and, and also places where you can donate to so that you can be a part of the change that we all need. So ayun, check them out. Anyways, let's get right on with the video. The key to a natural The key to a natural look is always skincare and your skin doesn't have to be clear or perfect. It just has to be clean because that makes a huge difference already. So go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start off with doing my eyebrows para if kailangan natin siyang linisin ng onte mamaya, pwede na natin siyang isabay sa base natin. So, I'm using the Face Shop Designing Eyebrow Pencil. For a natural eyebrow look, iniiwasan ko laging itouch yung inner area para hindi siya magmuhang boxy. And there we go. Pimple. Just ignore my pimple. Now, moving on to my base, I will be using this Pond's Flawless White BB Cream in the shade Beige. I love this so much. This is actually old already. I'm trying to move away from whitening products. But beyond that, I love this so much because it gives you enough coverage while still looking like your skin. What I'll do is I dot this all over my face. Focusing it on areas na kailangan ko ng maraming coverage. And for blending that out, I'll use this small fluffy brush para mas natural yung finish niya. Not gonna bother concealing some of my pimples kasi the goal is to even out your skin tone and that makes a huge difference na. So I'm gonna stop there. But if you want to conceal, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want more coverage, sometimes I just build this on. For example, sa under eyes ko. Make sure that you blend that out on top of your eyelids as well para hindi magkaiba yung kulay. Don't forget your neck. After that, before I set my face, I'm gonna bring back some color to it. And I'll do that by bronzing my face. And actually, wala akong bronzer. So, I used the eyebrow powder from BYS. And I love this so much kasi marami siyang uses. I usually use this one for my eyebrows and then the middle one to bronze. I just put some of that. And instead of drawing a line below my cheekbones, I'll do this on top of my cheekbones. And since parang may red undertone yung shade niya, it gives you a blush look as well. Pero nakita ko tong tip na to sa... Basta sa isang model, they do this para it looks more natural. Make sure you blend that out properly kasi medyo mas mahirap i-blend yung eyebrow powder. Bring that down to my cheekbones and also to my forehead. When I'm doing a natural look, I always make sure na may harmony yung kulay sa face ko. So I'll use the same powder and the same shade on my eyes as well just to give it a little bit of dimension. Yan, sobrang onti lang. I'll focus this on the outer corner of my eyes and blending that sa crease. Of course, you can make this as light or as dark as you want. It depends kung saan ka comfortable or kung saan yung mas mohang natural for you. 
But I do this to even out the darkness sa eyes ko. Kasi medyo, since may ligaw magpuyat, medyo mas dark yung inner area. So, i-even out ko lang yan by doing this. And sometimes, if I feel like contouring my nose, I use the same powder and the same brush. And kung ano lang yung natira sa nose ko. Super lightly lang. So I'll just blend that out with a bigger brush para mawala yung line. Adding a bronze color to your face looks great under the sun. So ayan, don't be shy. And of course, you can't forget our blush. And for that, I use the Cheek and Lip Tint from KJM Cosmetics. This is in the color Summer Kiss. And if you have the same skin tone as me, I feel like using orange tones sa face mo will make you look more fresh and brighten up your skin. So ayan, medyo orange tong tint na to. And I put that directly onto my face. I'm just gonna blend that out with a brush para hindi tayo mong nasunog. Blendable naman siya and you can put as much blush as you want kahit mukha kang nasampal. If that's where you look pretty, go ahead and do that. And a tip that I have for you guys to make your blush look more natural, minsan nilalagay ko siya sa baba ko just a little bit. Kasi pag namumula ka naman, hindi lang sa cheeks. So sometimes nilalagay ko din yan sa forehead ko. And then just blend that out with a brush. And now, finally, we're gonna set our face a little bit because you want to maintain that natural glow. So, I'll use a small fluffy brush. And yung ginagamit ko is it's from Johnson's Clean and Clear in the shade Beige. Ayan, medyo. But it works great. This is super cheap. And actually, ito yung ano, refill version niya. Kasi if you already have a mirror or like hindi mo na kailangan ng compact mismo na may kasama pang mirror and stuff, this is more than enough kasi may kasama na rin siyang applicator tas yung mismong product. Nalagay ko lang to sa under eyes ko. And on my nose as well. Para hindi lang gumalaw-galaw yung makeup mo. And now for my eyelashes, I'll just simply curl that. Di ko alam kung anong difference sa mga eyelash curler, but this one is from Nichido. This is the cheapest one I saw, kaya. And moving on to my mascara, if I'm trying to achieve a natural look, I always use the Last Sensational Waterproof Mascara from Maybelline. Kasi it avoids clumping and also separates your eyelashes, making it look more natural. Then I usually just wait a few seconds for that to dry. Tapos i curl ulit natin. For my highlight, if nasa labas ako, I usually use this one. This is the strobing highlighter from Beauty Treats. But honestly, if I'm gonna stay indoors, all I do is put some petroleum jelly on my cheeks. Ayan, mas natural to and mas mukhang parang mukha ka lang pinawisan on the right spots, you know? I'm gonna put some of that on my cheeks below my eyebrows on the usual places where you would highlight your face ang downside lang kasi nito is medyo malagkit siya so if nasa labas ka there's a possibility na dumikit lahat ng alikabok sa'yo but if you're staying indoors and just taking selfies for your instagram or what this is perfect and I always use this for my lips, sometimes I use the same one I use for my cheeks. Pero right now, I want to use the watery tint from the face shop. And then I'll top that with a lip gloss. This one is Glazeware from Avon. And I love this because my SPF 15 na siya. Your lips also need some protection, you guys. I like this so much kasi yung shimmer niya, it's very natural. It's not on the... It's very natural, para mo lang dinilaan yung lips mo. And we're done! And that's it! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, make sure to click thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And you can also follow me on Instagram and on my other social media accounts. Ayun lang. Thank you! I'm sorry for the dog noises.